All right, today I'm going to show you how to replace the bad ignition switch on a 2011 Bass Tracker Pro Team 175TX. First you need these tools. Electrical tape, wire cutters, and wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, and the new ignition. Now mine was originally installed with a plug on the end of the ignition and not the wires. You can see underneath here where it's plugged together. If I was to buy that ignition, that would have cost me over a hundred dollars. I went down to my local marine parts dealer and bought this one for $35 which I then found out you can get them for 20 on Amazon and so what I'll have to do is remove the the plug cut the wires tie all these together my ignition switch will be good now what was happening is when I would insert the key and I would turn it to run it would go to run but it wouldn't allow me to click over to start. Uh, I dug into the ignition switch and there was some pieces in there that were broke. So I have to replace it. So in order to replace it, just remove these th three screws with your Phillips, which I've already done. And then you'll need to loosen this. And you just take that nut off. Pull this panel off. Now it won't come off all the way because you got your wires connected to this bilge pump. Which uh, you can remove them if you'd like. But I don't think I'll need to. Pop that through there. And then you can reach underneath here. And you can take your switch, your old one. And now it's hanging down here. To remove that plug, press and pull. And now it's off. So I removed the old one, I cut it. Before you go cutting wires, please uh, disconnect all your batteries just to be safe and smart safety first now I'm gonna peel these back and splice everything together now that I've spliced all my wires together I'm ready to install the ignition switch back into its original position and once you take it out you can see how it is to put it in to put it in move this out of the way you can see my hand through there you should be able to so I'm gonna put the ignition switch right up through here then I'm gonna begin to install it and once you have it back in place see if you can see inside there I'm not where it goes make sure you have it in the correct position so that off is in the off position run lines up with the run and start lines up with the start just replace your three screws one two three and once you get those back into place if you have any wires dangling down there like I do zip tie them up and you're ready to go back to the lake 